Hey everyone, welcome to Resident Evil 4. I'm recording this today with my buddy Ashes. He's been really wanting me to play this for a long time. I've never played it, and we figured with the remake coming out uh, sometime next year that I had to play the original. So we're getting started with a new game here. Normal or first easy? Time, first time through, just do normal. Okay. Resident Evil. Hey everyone, I've been playing this game for years and I decided he needed to try it before he got the remake. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders. I've never been a big Resident Evil fan, but I really started to get into it with the uh, two remake I played uh, when it came on sale during Halloween. I still need to finish that actually. Two remake was good, and it pays a lot of homage to this game. It hit the peaceful little town. With a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Of course, here Not we're just seeing any chances, kind of a cut together of version States of the backstory of how we like got to this point in the Resident Evil universe. City. Otherwise, the only one I've played is three, actually. United States government issued original three or three make? Original three. I haven't played the remake yet. Soon it's stock Old school tank crashed. controls. Got it. Yeah, I really like those, actually. Uh, but, like, I'm a big Silent Hill fan, right? Like, I'm super stoked for the Silent Hill remake and the new, like, the reboot. Have you seen? Have you seen that? I've, I've seen some of the trailer for it. Some of the trailers and just in-game footage they show off. It's set in like like 60s Japan or something, right? It's really interesting looking. Thanks. So, oh, here we go. Meeting our boy. Hey, I know this guy. There's Leon. Protecting the new president's family. Cornel. Why am I the one who always gets me short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? So, does this port run pretty well? Because I left the graphics settings on like the highest possible. <laughs> yeah, I'd say the port runs pretty well considering it was a GameCube game originally. Hey man, that doesn't mean anything. My assignment is to search for the president's missing This one's actually ported from the PlayStation 2 version. Oh, okay. I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together. Boy, look at those sideburns. Bonfire. <laughs> then again, maybe you did. <laughs> no, I was playing a... Uh... It's not the sideburns that I admire with Leon. At least with the hairdo. For me, it's the 90s skater slash early 2000s goth bangs. Those are quite some bangs. That's the Leon look, flat up. No, dude, I was playing, like, this Sega collection, right? When, uh, I was playing it on Steam Deck, but, like, temperatures are still, like, like it, pretty relevant, right? And and it should be running at a reasonable temperature because it, it emulates, like, Sonic 3. And that thing ran at, like, 90 degrees Celsius. Lord, yeah. So that's that's not a, that's not a glowing recommendation for me to get a Steam Deck. It wasn't the game. It, I mean, it wasn't the Steam Deck. It's the game. Who would have thought that my first? So like, I think the reason why is it emulates like, uh, <clears throat> sorry, it simulate it emulates the game on like a TV, but then it also simulates like this 3D room, and it keeps the room rendered while you play the game, and the room is not optimized. Yeah, that seems like a design flaw. It absolutely is, but it's like the Sega Genesis collection, I think, so... Kind of expected with, like, stuff like that. That was, like, during the era where Sega didn't really care <laughs> what they were putting out. Uh, we might still be in that era, I'm not sure. I think they're doing better from what I've heard. Kind of forgot that Nintendo didn't absorb Sega. <clears throat> Oh yeah, no. Sega's actually been putting out a lot of PC stuff lately, I feel like. Just up ahead is the village. Okay, I'm pretty sure by now, through this uh, intro cutscene, you've realized who the first bit of cannon fodder is. Oh yeah, absolutely. Tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. I at least have a pretty good idea, I'd say. Jeez. Who are these guys? <laughs> Did you say something? Okay, now you're gonna meet your technical oh, yeah. assistant. What is this, Metal Gear? I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. 
I'll be your support on this mission. I've never well, played Metal Gear Solid. I just know there's a screen like this. This is actually a lot cooler in VR. That's right. Because you hold the thing in your hand and you can click on you like you can click onto it. I bet that is cool. I'll try to find some more How's the VR look? Like, is it HD textures Good. and stuff, too? Talk to you later. Leon out. Um, it's definitely better tech. Okay, don't go forward yet. Okay, I gotta make sure my controls are, uh, like, as loosey-goosey as I'd like. Yeah. Okay, uh, they seem mostly fine. Is right-click aim? Uh, check. Check on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's okay. kind of fucky-wucky, but we'll go with it. Okay, walk towards the bridge right quick. Oh, the bridge. Oh, oh, yeah, it is tank just, controls. Just, just for a uh, a secret cutscene. Not that way, cowboy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, actually. Now, 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 you can do an about face too. I was trying to figure that out. What is it? Q. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now go to the start of the path right there. Uh huh. Go go towards the path on your right. Am I right or, here? You can, yeah, you can see like the deer. Stop. Nope, nope. There's like a deer trail kind of looking thing in the ground. Look behind you. Oh. Well, you got me. Oh, this rollerball might not actually work. Hang on. And, okay, you see how it looks kind of like a clear deer trail path right yeah. there? Okay, get back on that. Stop. Okay. Turn around. And aim down the path where you're seeing it deer trail out. Not that way, but a little bit too... Yeah, that way. All See right. those crows? Yeah, what's up with that? Shoot the crows. Really? Yes, they drop money and treasure. Really? That's yes. goofy. And there's okay. one more to the left. I see it. But I gotta move a little bit. Yeah, you know, I saw flies. the crows before. You didn't have to send me, like, the weird way. <laughs> like, you could have just been, like, see those crows? I saw the crows, man. Probably could have, but I didn't. Uh, if I reload, am I throwing away my extra uh, ammo? No, you are not. Okay. Boy, it's very strange. So, like, uh, if you haven't played this on a mouse before, right, when I... When I rotate my view, but then I press W to go forward, it like it jumps the camera. It's very strange. <clears throat> okay, so and yes, I, I've I've kind of felt that a little bit when I had to do mouse controls on it. I might have advanced okay, so a little too far for what you were saying. So this this first guy, mm -hmm. there's a combo you're gonna do on it. All right. You're going to shoot him in the leg, then you're going to go up to him. There's a cutscene for us, but you're going to shoot him in the leg, you're uh -huh. going to go up to him, it's going to give you a button to press to do a roundhouse kick on him, and then you're going to take out your knife and slash at him while he's on the ground. That way you only spend one bullet on him. Gotcha. I'm probably not going to be that proficient later on. I'm probably not going to be that proficient now. Uh, excuse me, sir? Oh, don't talk to him, man. He's obviously menacing. My question is, why did Leon just walk into the guy's house when, instead of knocking on the door? Yeah, like, come on, man. I was wondering if he might recognize a girl in this photograph. What are they speaking? Sorry to have bothered. It's Spanish. It is Spanish. Actually, uh, someone translated that line. It basically translates to "What the fuck are you doing in my house? Get out!" I don't speak Spanish, so. All right, shoot him in the leg. Run up, roundhouse, kick him, shank him. And then knife him. Okay, that didn't Dang seem it. to. Yeah, didn't shoot him low enough down in the leg. Gotcha. There we go. Oh, you got him in three. Okay, well, that's fine by me. The, the reason is just because, like, your first time through, ammo can get a little stingy. Gotcha. I'm sure it'll be fine. That's some of the fun of it. Probably. I'm sure those officers are fine, right? Probably. There's, like, a lot of dudes here for, like, just showing up here. Is everything okay? Probably not. Hostile local. 
I had no choice but to neutralize <clears> it. Yeah, don't, uh, still others surrounding the area. don't try to go out the front door and don't jump out the side window. You're gonna go up the stairs. There's an extra ten rounds of ammo on a table up the stairs. That's something that sounds pretty useful. Oh, also, before you go up the stairs, turn down that hallway and walk down it real quick. Alright. And interact. Am I on, like, a timer here? That's nasty. <laughs> no, you're not on a timer. You could effectively just stay in that house and they're not going to come in after you. Now, I do remember playing this growing up, like, a, like kind of, like, I watched my buddy play this, right? And, uh, I remember there's like, some dude with a bag on his head with a chainsaw who's, I think, effectively immortal. Stop, stop, stop. Don't, don't go back downstairs. Go back oh. up. Oh, am I supposed to be going out one of these windows? Yeah, but reload... I was gonna tell you to reload first. Well, uh, bad news. There's gonna be one coming up beside you, bro. R is not reload, for the record. No, it's, uh, it's aim and then, I can't remember what the other button is right off the top of my head. Uh, apparently shoot is also sufficient. Am I supposed yeah, to be taking can... these guys on or just bailing? Yes, no, you you take them on because there's stuff you need to get around there. Gotcha. Do headshots matter at all? Yes, early in the game, no, later on. Alright, whoa, that was, okay, okay, so okay. it is pressing R while you're in uh, mouse look, but... E I got a comment on his like really actiony spin okay, go, when he got shot. Go go to the other side of the house. There's a box over there. Sometimes there's something in it. Sometimes there isn't. Use your knife to break it open. Gotcha. Oh, you were telling me about is, this. Your knife is infinite in this game, by the way. It doesn't break. What is the knife button? Do you suppose? No, we'll, it's... we'll find out. Try just holding. Try left click. It's is it space. Oh, it's space. space. It's space. I'm I'm myself. I'm still getting used to the computer controls. I just know the whole layout of the game by heart. I'm gonna have to be real with you, man. Uh, this game is nauseating. I don't know okay, what it is about crows. the camera. Shoot those crows. More of them. I hate these damn things. Yeah. Well, the one gives you a hand grenade. Ah, I don't think I'm this jittery. I think you can go a little closer to him. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I think uh, Leon's just like wiggly, right? Uh, in in RE2, they gave the guns a little bit of muzzle wobble, so it would feel a little more realistic. Like the okay, original RE2? No, 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 no. Go uh, RE4. Go over there and get that stuff before it despawns. Ah. Oh, shit. Uh, what's the money? Do I, like, use that on, like, that guy with the weird trench coat? Yes, the merchant. Now do I go in here? I'm good to yes. go in here. Okay. All right. By oh, the it's way, a save room. Fun, fun fact, the merchant is actually voiced by the same guy that voiced Leon. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so is there, uh, I assume there's limited inventory like all the others, right? Uh, yes. Press I. Nope. I was I. Tab. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's like the new Resident Evils, right? Like, uh, 7 and 8, I think? Yeah, it's an attaché case. Interesting. Uh, so saves aren't limited, right? is how you stay. No. Okay, cool. No, they got rid of the ink ribbon system. Personally, kind of maybe a controversial opinion, uh, I like the ink ribbon system. I think it's cool. The ink ribbon system made more sense for the tank control, super, like, Survival everything horror. is limited resources. Yeah. Now, rescue this dog. Oh, this poor dog. This is messed up, man. Well, you rescue him because he helps you later. There's a dog like that in another Let's Play I did, actually. <laughs> okay, uh, but now, he's invisible. Watch your f now watch your footing. Yeah, there's you like, see this path? yeah, there's one there. Okay, follow the path, but go to the right of it, up ahead. So go to the right side of this fence. Okay. Is, watch your there's feet. There's a boulder sure. somewhere in there? Yes, there is. That's later. Okay. okay. So yeah, watch your feet. To your right, there's a red herb. 
take it. Oh yeah, I see it. Boy, these are really, they really blend in here. Okay, now go back into your inventory. I'm combining them already? Yes, combine green with red. That's a full heal. That does the same as that one first aid spray you start with at the beginning of the game. Later, I do like you'll the start, of those. later, you'll start adding in yellow herbs. Okay, mind yourself up here. There's three booby traps here. Okay. Right there, there's a dynamite tripwire. To okay. your right, yeah, there's I a bear that. trap between those two trees, and then another dynamite tripwire. Oh, okay. And there's a guy up on the hill. I, can, I assume I if can just shoot it, right? Yes. If you're really good, you can hit the guy and lure him into the dynamite tripwire. I'm but that try to takes do that. a lot of practice. Because a lot of times he'll just run around the dynamite tripwire. Gotcha. I'm probably just going to... How close... How big is the explosion? Is this safe? Oh, you're far away enough. Okay, cool. Which right. wouldn't work in real life. You'd well, be yeah. deaf. Six sticks of dynamite. All right, Did come on down you? here. Boy, aiming on this is, like, something fierce, man. Holy crap. It's the rollerball, dude. I know it's the rollerball, but uh, until I get a controller uh, set up for next time, we're rollerballing it. <clears throat> okay, so there's two more guys coming up. You'll see a little cabin on your left up ahead. Okay. There'll be a cabin on the left, and there'll be two guys after that. How much ammo do you have? Uh, well, I mean, in the corner it says 10. Uh, 14, you 20, 24. Okay, you have 24 shots and a hand grenade. Should I chug a grenade in there? I feel like that's a waste. No, it's no, 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 no. Don't that. use the grenade. Oh, I see him. Don't use the... But don't try to hit him from here. Kind of a waste of ammo for me. Gotcha. Does ammo have, like, fall-off damage? Not really. It's just the wobble makes it to where oh, there's yeah. a chance you'll miss. So usually they... I try to get real... Yeah, they yelled, but they actually didn't come over. So are these guys, like, just dudes? Uh, as we progress through the game, you'll... Oh, oh damn it! Alright, whatever. As you progress through the game, you'll figure out what's wrong with them. Okay, I, I know there's the some sort of virus, right? Because there's it's always, not about, like, it's, it's not a virus in this Sorry. Game. Yeah, it's a parasite. That green herb, I would recommend you use. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I should probably eat this one. Eat it, smoke it, whatever Leon does with it. Yeah, it's hard to say. I don't know why it lets me check them if all it does is say hey, bust look it open. To your left. What the big further. spider web? Yeah, a little further. Oh, damn! That's unfortunate. Pitchfork to the face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Leon. Uh, this guy, ammo. Yeah, I was going to say, that's good. That's actually, like, that's a lot of ammo, it feels like. <clears throat> yeah, and there's another ten rounds in the next shed. But don't go in the shed first. Those guys don't attack you. They're just running off to warn the village. Oh, okay. And you, gotcha. can't, and you can't hit them. Really? Run run past the shed and then do an about face about 10 feet past now, yeah i assume there's a dude in there did you see leon move his head a little bit like he saw him i didn't uh does he do that like have sound based uh like head tilt reaction there's another game no, that just, did that just proximity there's another game that did that and i can't think of what it was i watched some oh man you guys. are you are getting like the luckiest of all of the algorithm ammo drops here. Yeah, apparently. I missed that first I missed oh, that dude. first one. That box is always random. Really? Like these guys, what they drop and those boxes are always random. You are getting algorithm ammo dropped like crazy. <laughs> Watch out, Dream. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. I'm sending you a playing manual. Take a look at it. Subtle Thanks. fourth wall break. Yeah, no kidding. I was I was gonna say. 
All right, fair enough. Simple. Uh, oh, that's kind of weird. That's just for your inventory. Yeah, screen. it's still kind of weird, though, I feel like. Um, and you've got playing manual one there, too, which you can look at if you want. I'm going to see... what What is the difference between modern and, like... Uh, yeah, just check it. Do controller set up. Modern. Let's try it. That feels a lot better. Mind you, you're about to go into, like, the big early game fight, too. Okay. I'm game. I got, like, a shitload of ammo. I'm ready for this. Uh, don't go into the buildings if you don't want to face Dr. Salvador this time around. That's the guy with the chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it being your first time playing the game. I wouldn't recommend going up against all the stuff that goes into fighting Salvador. So just fight the villagers until they eventually leave. Okay, so Back. so it's like go in there and just stay outside and shoot everyone, right? Okay, you see directly, if you go straight forward past the fire, there's that little area next to that, between that tower and that yeah. church. Back yourself into that corner and no one can sneak up behind you. Can I kill that chicken too? Don't kill the chickens. Um... The reason you don't kill the chickens is sometimes they'll drop eggs, which are healing items. And golden eggs sell for 3,000 pesetas. Okay, just take off and run until you get into that area between those two buildings. Gotcha. That I pointed out. Because if you back yourself into that corner, no one can get to you. I feel like and Leon's enemies... kind of the bad guy in this situation, right? I just ran into town and just popped a woman in the No, head. you're not. Also, not to mention, they're roasting a police officer on a... That's fair. ...fire. Jesus! Yeah, they throw their weapons, too. Uh-oh. Yep. Did that head explosion stagger the rest of them? Yes. That was kind of cool. Okay, on the next group, when they bunch up on you... Uh-oh. Okay, heal yourself, heal yourself, inventory. Jesus, they really throw you right into it, huh? Yeah. On, okay, run. Reload and run. Okay. Shit. Damn! Okay, get somewhere where a group can bunch up, grab that ammo. Oh yeah, they'll duck out of the way of your moves, too. Alright, get, get run, running, run. right? Yeah, get running and then get them bunched up and throw a grenade at them. I feel like they're probably bunched up right now. Yep. Uh, all right. I have no idea how to actually use it. Is just it... aim and aim and shoot, just like you're shooting. Okay. Turn around. Trying. <laughs> oh shoot! They drop like a lot of stuff. Yep. Run and grab it all. Yeah, that's the plan. Hang on here. All right. I should probably green herb, huh? Yeah, but get yourself into that corner. Okay, about faced. Wrong button. <laughs> Alright, let's uh... Okay, these last two should be enough. Oh, that was embarrassing. That, that was embarrassing on your part, <laughs> I will give you that. Last two should be enough to end. That was also embarrassing. This rollerball mouse is no. killing me, dude. What is it? The last okay, two on top. Okay, get that guy up on the. Just get that. Oh. There. You, okay. Cool. It was enough to send it over. Once you kill so many of them, it triggers this cutscene. It's like a horde fight. Yeah. You know, I had something like this once. Church bells didn't do that to me, though. But I had something like that once, I think. Where's everyone <laughs> going? Bingo? <laughs> Bingo. Yeah, they took that out of the VR. Really? Like, all the corny writing and dialogue lines they took out of the VR. That's weird. Bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. I know it made me angry because those are all just iconic. Leon, you need to get out of there. 
Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Now you're not immediately going to follow that trail. You're going to go all around town and loot everything that's not nailed down. Gotcha. This place looks like old Yarnum. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you ever played Bloodborne. Not yet. Oh man, Bloodborne might Red be herb. the best an Souls herb. game. Turn behind you. I think there's an herb on that wood pile behind you. Oh yeah. Actually, okay. Elden Ring is now the best Souls game, right? But Bloodborne is like. Really and now you close. can go into the house. Now you can go into the houses. By the way. Gotcha. That dude just shows he, up like if you do it during. During the, the yeah during the fight scene. That seemed like kind of unnecessary, right? Yes, but yeah. So break the barrels, break the boxes. Barrels too. Oh yeah, they're like yeah. glowing, uh, like weird white. Turn to your left. There's ammo on a shelf. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Boy, there's a lot of stuff here. Boxes they really to your like, right. They really like soup you up. You know, there, there's a game. Maybe you know what it is. There's a game. I saw in a magazine as a kid, uh, and it had, it, it was around this era, it up was that like, path. what's that? Up that path, there's a cabin on the right, up, yeah. Okay, well, I got stuff nope, over nope. here to bust first. Yeah, but I just go to that because there's only one thing up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so go in the cabin, that, that, that. Yeah, I see it. All right. Hovel. <clears throat> Cabin's and a bit of a stretch. Boxes. And you've got a flashbang grenade. Jeez. And, oh, dude, they gave you ammo on that one? There's never anything in that box. Yeah, I got ammo. Look at, let's see how much I got. <laughs> yeah. You've got 67 rounds. Yeah. Is that a lot for this stage? Yes. And that's with me missing, like all of those shots too that's a lot for you not having harvested most of the ammo that's around here yet uh so there's this game i read about it and i remember reading it it was oh hang on hang on what does a yellow herb do i've never seen one in a resident evil game oh also in that cart right there that hay cart mm -hmm. there's another red I see herb. It. and there's another green okay yeah follow this path go to your yep turn to your left and that wood pile that's oh, right there. Oh, I see there. it, yeah. There's another urban there. That wood pile that was up by the church where you were backed in before? Yeah. Just doing about face from here. Yeah. So go back up to where that wood pile was that was butted up against the church. Not that one, but the one to your right. Yeah. There's ammo in there. Oh, yeah, huh. So, so what's a yellow herb do? I haven't seen one before. Yellow, mix yellow with green, and it'll increase your overall... Nope, don't go up that way. Go in that big house to your left. Oh, I thought I already went in there. No, you went into the small house to pass it. Go to your right, to your right. Wait, there's, there's like two houses I haven't been in. There's three... Yeah, there's three houses you can go into, plus the tower you can climb, and then three or four small cabins. But like the ones you... Like the one you went up to that you said cabin was a stretch. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, so there's this game I saw, right? I saw this game, like, in a magazine as a kid at, like, a mire or something, right? I think it's called, like, Dark Watch or something. Go upstairs. But it's, uh, it's Maybe like this... Oh, wow. It's like this, and uh, Resident Evil style kind of game. Uh, but I think it might be, like, vampires or something instead. There's shotgun ammo on the bed. It's around the same era, though. Uh, I was wondering if you ever heard of it. If I can find it, I'll send you a link about it. And I might, like... Okay, go okay, out the window to your left. Here. Don't like that guy. Go out the window to your left. Oh, wait, the window? Yes. Trust me. Okay, go straight forward. Uh, what's the one where... The, uh, oh, stop. Go to the chimney. To what's your the right. one where they punch a boulder? To, to, wait, to, to your the right. right. Not your left. Yeah, I gotcha. Resident Evil 5 is where he pump, punches a boulder. Gotcha. Okay, now, no, no, don't jump down yet. Go to your left. See that, see that path yeah, around the it. side of that? Wow. Follow it, and there's another spinel right there. 
What am I going to use spinels for? You sell them. Gotcha, okay. Go to the house across the way there. Do I do anything that's like equivalent to punching a boulder in this? You outrun boulders. That's kind of cool, at least. You outrun a giant. Cool you, you outrun. You outrun a giant robot. Wait. I can't tell if you're fucking with me. I I wish I could say I was. Break that lock. Alternatively, you could have done it with the knife. Okay. Well. Uh, to I'll your be right, real with there's you. some stuff to break, and then there's money on the bed. Shotgun shells. There's another barrel next to that table. I'm gonna be real with you, dude. Uh, giant robot, not the most outlandish sounding thing for Resident Evil. It does sound like something Umbrella would make. Yeah, but Umbrella has nothing to do with this game. Wait, just not at all. Did you not all. pay attention? Did you not pay attention to the opening scene? My dude, I was yammering on about okay, go up something. The tower. Also, I normally watch these with subtitles, and since there weren't subtitles and I have the volume low enough, I can't quite hear it because I wanted to make sure your audio levels were good. Mm. I have yeah, umbra no idea. Umbrella, the president of the United States after Raccoon City issued an indefinite stay of business um, transaction on Umbrella, which meant that their stock prices crashed and they basically folded up. I mean, I know All we're here to like get his daughter so i know like that's not umbrella related but yep. to the right to the right <clears throat> what right. could i possibly right. be missing now you're gonna go into that little cabin and break that box because with your luck there might actually be something in it <laughs> Fuck you. yeah is that like a lot do i have a lot of money right now yeah Fourteen thousand well, I mean, seven hundred. For the for this for this point in the game, okay, keep going up the path. There's usually nothing in the one on the left, but the one on the right has ammo. The one on the left I don't even think has a box in it to break. Alert orders. Interesting. Oh yeah, there's all sorts of files to find in this game. Notes, files, things like that. I'm not going to read these. Normally I'd read these out loud. I'm not going to read these out loud. I might do like an episode by myself where I read them out loud. Uh, but probably not. <laughs> so yeah, I want you to do a quick thing just for, for all of us. Look at your inventory. Okay. Okay. Now combine that yellow herb with a yellow and a, or that yellow herb with a red and a green. Wait, all three? Yep. And keep it in reserve once you're done. Until okay. your health is almost <clears throat> out, because it'll up your overall health as well as bring you back to full health. Oh, interesting. Hey, uh... Oh, never mind. I was going to ask what blue herbs do in Resident Evil 2 while I was thinking about it, but I already know. Uh, I forgot that I actually encountered that later. Po poison yeah. in Resident Evil 2, does it eventually kill you? I don't know. It... it the mechanic seems really weird. Like, I was poisoned for, like, a really long time and nothing happened. What's the deal with that? <laughs> and if I were you, I'd also organize my inventory. I mean... I get I get really, really finicky about how I organize my inventory in this game. Uh, backspace. Okay. At least it's easy to navigate. Wait, what's this? First aid spray, okay. Ah, uh, whatever, I'm probably fine with this. Ah, uh, no, okay, hang on. This is ridiculous. Okay, that's whatever, that's fine. Cool, okay. Trust me, it helps. Okay. Is that like There's a blue, blue coin from Mario? They're blue medallions. There's going to be, I think it's seven of them in the farm, which is where you're at this stage right here. Like from Mario Sunshine? And there's eight of them in the cemetery. If you shoot all of them, you get not only a free pistol, but a upgrade on that free pistol included, which you can then sell back to the merchant because it sucks. Interesting. What's with the blue, like, note? Is that important? That's the note telling you about the medallions. 
That makes sense, actually. 15. That's a lot. Yeah, there's 15 of them. Seven I... in the farm and eight in the cemetery. I know. I heard seven, and I was like, oh, okay, seven of them. But you forgot the eight in the cemetery that I had mentioned. Yeah. Yeah, I'd recommend taking out all the guys here again before you start just looting the place and shooting the blue medallions. I'm just trying to take out one dude, honestly. I'm like really struggling with this wobble. That is absurd. That is like comically absurd. Is there a save room around here? Just so I know. To your left. In immediate left? Oh, I'll be. Because I was it's thinking. Not a safe room, but it is a save room. Well, that's fine. I was thinking we were probably about 30 minutes, which means it's probably a good episode end time, yeah. right? Would you say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely save right now. We'll come back to it. All right. What? Tonight? Yeah, technically, I guess. Well, that was fun. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you were able to come on, and uh, this is going to be fun. I think they'll enjoy this. I think we got a good back and forth. Oh, yeah, I think we do, too. I mean, like I said, it's a guy that's played the game for years, and you're just getting into it, and I love introducing people to this game. I'm glad you brought me on. Thanks for bringing me on today, man. All right, I will see you next time.